We're gonna go ahead and pull some quick messages just to see what you need to heal within your love life right now. Welcome to the 774 hole. We're being flooded with a lot of high frequency galactic energies as our planet and the sun aligns with Sirius and our central sun right now. Today is all about healing and doing activation work. We wanna for sure be tapping into these energies and using them. Make sure you're checking out my website, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com. I have tons of healings up specifically for today, but let's just pull a couple of cards and see what you need to heal within your love life. Are you looking at pictures of someone? Are you missing someone in your life? Maybe you're apart or maybe you're just kind of in your feelings as it's cancer season. You may have regrets about a certain connection in your life, either about how it's going currently or how it went. You might be reminiscing and feeling someone. Today is a huge gateway or porthole specifically for twin flames and soulmates. It brings a lot of high frequency energy. Pay attention to who you're thinking about today. This is your person. Um, you might be missing someone. Know that they're also missing you as well too. Whatever you're thinking about, usually there's the reverse of that within our connection. So know this person is also missing you if you're missing someone. Pay attention to who's on your mind today. You might need to resolve some type of conflict or disagreement with, some, disagreement with someone. Maybe there was an argument. Maybe there's some type of breakup energy, separation, or even maybe you guys just aren't getting along as good as you could be. It's all about compromising when it comes to love and seeing both perspectives and both sides. Make sure that you're healing this situation and making amends. You're meant to shift into more positive outcomes. Today is a huge gateway. It allows us to shift into the higher timelines that we want to manifest and create. Today is a huge manifestation poor haul. So if there's some type of disagreement, this could be ego clashes or egos get in the way. This connection is worth salvaging and healing. Just know that. Okay, so we have egg on the face. Are you having some type of shame energy? And this could be things that have backfired. And make sure that you know that you might be healing shame from your childhood. This might be some type of response or it might be old energies that are surfacing that you need to deal with. This card is connected with solar plexus healing and opening up to more empathy and even compassion in your love life and even within your connection. This will help you to have a more beautiful, harmonious connection too. Maybe you're needing to resolve some type of childhood wounds or blocks that might be coming up or surfacing and getting in the way of your love life. This could be just energetic blocks or it could even be ways of seeing things from the past. You're clearing a lot of past energies right now. We're releasing a lot of deep energetic blockages. If you need it, make sure you're clearing your solar plexus more. All right, this person is watching your social media. You might be looking at theirs, right? So this person is like hung up on you. They are staring at your social media. Are you checking out someone's social media page or checking up on someone or trying to see what they're doing? No, they are also, and they're trying to look at your social media. So there's a very strong connection energetically with this person too. Just know that they are checking out um, this thing. Okay, we have Netflix and chill. <laughs> like, okay, maybe, I know, maybe you're in your feels right now. It's cancer season. You might be a little bit in your hermit shell right now and spending a lot of time by yourself and kind of relaxing and recharging. But make sure that you're also using this gateway. I know it's Sunday, but we also have the 774 hole happening today. This is huge. You can tap into these energies to bring a lot of healing to all areas of your life, especially your relationships. So make sure that you're also tapping into this gateway. If you're kind of we don't want to say you're being a couch potato a little bit too much, right? <laughs> Getting out of those vibes and kind of flowing with the cosmic energies. All right, there's a strong infatuation with this person. Um, they're in fact obsessed with you. They're just as attracted to you. This person may have tried to downplay the connection or act like they didn't care, or maybe you did. It just kind of depends. There's a very strong magnetic attraction between whoever's on your mind right now while you're receiving this reading. So just kind of know that. All right, this person is determined. They're still holding on to you. Is there someone that you're holding on to? Because this person can't let go of you back. They're still holding on to you. They still want you. And so if you've been questioning a certain connection in your life or not sure if you should continue with this connection, this reading is confirmation that you should continue moving forward and that this person wants you back just as bad. There might be a lack of communication. Expect a message from this person. They're gonna express their feelings. This could be a text message, a phone call, or even an email. 
they're gonna open up to you. If you've had a lack of communication, know this person is trying to process how they feel about everything. This is an intense energetic connection, so they may needed to step back or needed a little bit of space to figure out what they wanted about this connection or about you. Expect this person to reach out to you. This will be out of nowhere, right? Expect this person is gonna call you or send you a message in some type of way. So this is opening up communication. If you feel there's been some blocks here, these energies are clearing and opening up. So just know that, throat chakra healing. You might be distracted right now. You might feel this person kept you waiting or was looking at other options. They might have done this and triggered a lot of deep feelings in you. And so you might feel like you've been waiting for this person for a while. Make sure that you're not getting distracted right now. This is your person that you're thinking about. This is why you're getting this reading as a sign too. So pay attention to who is on your mind right now. Make sure that you're not getting distracted yourself. All right, this person might have played main, mind games with you, you felt, and you might not have understood why. They might have been testing you and analyzing you to see how much you cared about that. If you feel this person was intentionally triggering you or, um, you know, kind of, like I said, mind games with you, know that they were kind of testing you to see how much you cared about that. And they may have been seeing things to gauge your response and to see what you were going to say back. So they might be kind of testing how much you care about them too with things that they're saying right now. Just kind of know that. Okay, this person has been hiding their true feelings. You may have been too. This person has deep emotions. They're secretly in love with you. They might have acted cold and detached, but it is the complete opposite with this person. They are so in love with you, and they might have been hiding that of fear of getting hurt or not wanting to put it all out there right now. So know that even if this person is acting a little bit distant, cold, or detached, they are so in love with you. So pay attention to the person that's been on your mind getting this reading. And that's about it. Have a beautiful day. If you guys need me, just go ahead and book one-on-one -on -one readings or sessions on my website, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com.